Bunt defense, runner at first base. The goal in this situation is to record an out by throwing the runner out at either second base or first base. As you can see here, the pitcher feels the bunt and throws out the runner at first base. Just one of several acceptable outcomes in this situation. After releasing the pitch, the pitcher moves into a position to field the bunt. If they can field the bunt, they would call ball one time. The third baseman moves into a position to field the bunt. If they can field the bunt, they would call it multiple times, ball, ball, ball. If the third baseman does not field the bunt, they retreat to cover third base to keep the runner from going to third base. The first baseman moves into a position to field the bunt. If they can field the bunt, they would call it multiple times, ball, ball, ball. The catcher would be prepared to field any bunt in front of home plate and call it multiple times. If they do not field the bunt, they continue toward third base to keep the runner from going to third base. The second baseman covers first base. The shortstop covers second base. The right fielder moves in a position to back up a potential throw to first base. The center fielder moves in a position to back up a potential throw to second base. The left fielder moves in a position to back up third base. Let's take one more look at the timing, spacing, and movement of a bunt defense with a runner on first base. 